What's up guys, Doug Polk here and today we're back with a little bit of bankroll challenge. That's right, the challenge where we turn $100 into $10,000 over three decades. So far we've 12x the bankroll, we've taken it from $100 bucks up to $1,200. We're getting back in the streets, actually pretty lively today on WSOP, so it should be a good sesh. And I also want to let you guys know that we have a WSOP sale going on over on Upswing. It ends tomorrow, 25% off everything on the entire site. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer them here on this stream. We're not going to have any music going. I have music. You don't. The reason is because YouTube will ax my video if I have music, so not going to be doing that. I'm sorry. If you like music, listen to your own music. Enjoy the stream. All right, guys. Uh, we're on a roughly a four-minute delay. Let's hop in. Let's get some tables going. We've actually got some uh, We've actually got some tables. We've got, we got a little something, something going here today, guys. little something, something. Look at all these tables. We're gonna start some tables though. We've got the necessary screen name microstakes. Just makes sense given that we are microstakes players, or at least I am. You guys might not be. And let's click it over here. Okay. Let's do it today. Also, by the way, in just two days, I'm going to be playing the $300,000 tournament over at Aria Super High Roller Bowl. If you want to buy a piece of my action, I'm selling 5% over on Steak Kings. I'll get a link in here somewhere at some point if you're interested in checking it out. Uh, if not, no sweat. I, actually, to be honest with you, I, I have as much sold as I want, but I uh, just want to give the fans a chance to have a little piece of action if you guys so uh, w would like to have it. Okay. Neither one of these tables is going out of the gate. I, don't, I can't play higher stakes than this. So, we wait, question mark, question mark. I'm gonna hop on some wait lists, I guess. Hopping on a couple of wait lists. We are on delay, I can't give any shots in the chat quite yet. Eventually we'll get there. And we have someone joining the table here, I think we're gonna, we're gonna get a little poker being played. So yeah, I actually, I vlogged the Super High Roller Bowl last year. I think I made day two, I want to say. Maybe it was day three, but I think it was day two. And busted by playing a hand pretty questionably. Not afraid to say that. And I also vlogged the one drop, which went well. It went well. For those of you guys that didn't see that, well, where were you, man? It's the most important moment of my life. And you weren't there for me. I'm just kidding. We, we won it last year. It was, a, it was a big score. Definitely my biggest score of my life. Uh, thankful to to get the run hot in the right places. You know, we were down to four-handed, kind of trading blinds back and forth. Someone jams, looked down. I got the aces. Aces are a pretty good hand to have when you're in an all-in situation. And of course, got the hold. You need both of them. You need both the all-in and the hold. I'm sure tables will be heating up here shortly. Should be heating up here shortly. And I'm on the wait list as well, and they'll be able to hop in, get it going. A lot of you guys asked me, why didn't I go play Scoop? I didn't go play Scoop because I had to travel to another country, set up a computer, set up monitors, and then play like five sessions and come back to this country. That just seems like a lot. It's also really uh, real tough. You know what I like? I like streaming cash games because it's very flexible. It's fluid. You can be like in for a little sesh, in for a little quick sesh, then get out of there. There's nothing casual about flying to Vancouver, setting up two 30-inch monitors, buying a desktop, setting it up in a new condo, moving all your stuff in, then streaming 12 hours of tournaments every day during Scoop. There's nothing casual about that. It's In fact, it's kind of the opposite of casual. Uh, not, not a huge fan. Scoop has been kind, though. Scoop has been kind, so that's good. But not not too casual. This is probably not an open. But being that it is our first hand, second hand, I forget. Decided to get in the mix. Checking it back. And we're going to go from there. Delay C bet. Seems good to me. Uh, okay. He's not very likely to have a five here, actually. I think this card looks scarier than it actually is. 
He's not too likely to have the five. Six eight makes some sense. No value. Oh, and he's out. L little H and R sesh. Quick H and R. God damn it. Oh, I gotta get the add chips button to work too. Finally, streams caught up. Get some shouts in the chat. Sean Mitchell, what's up, man? The book fish, how's it going? Alexi Carrion, first. Justin Perez, I'm here, Doug. I'm first. Sorry, bud. Someone beat you. The poker fish, what up, Doug? Not too much, man. Socks. Hi, Doug. How are you doing today? I'm good, dude. I'm good. Woke up a little late. Um, had a little little uh, little video game sesh to kick the day off. Real real busy stuff. And then uh, went for a walk. And here we are. It is 2.50 p.m. And my day included a walk and some video games. The good life. <laughs> Thanks, though, man. Good to have you here in the stream. Uh, I'm really hoping that we can get this game going in the near future. Matthias Derek, good night, Doug. See you, Matthias. Thanks for stopping by. Chad Smith, say hello to me, Mr. My boy Polk. What's up, man? Welcome. Welcome. Got some people in the mix here. Good luck, Doug. Thanks, man. Really important high stakes sesh going here. Gonna complete. Betrayal in the mix. This guy's a hashtag bad reg. I hope not, man. I hope not bad reg territory. Go for the limp call. Flop a six. Not bad. Not a bad flop for the seven six burger here. Greedy dude. Not even playing some music to his viewers. They mute the VOD and I'm sick of having to deal with that. Okay. It's a good turn. Hmm. Can we go for some value perhaps? Let's do it. Queens are good. Why can I not? Oh, I see out already, but there we go. There we go. Auto rebuy in effect. Thank you guys for joining us today. Let's start another table. We're going to be four tabling today. Connect me to the stream. Drop a thumbs up on this vid. If you're happy to see some poker action today, hit the thumbs up. What's the roll at? We were at 1210 to start. We already lost a couple of pots though. Pocket Kings looking to change that. Come on. Let's go. Let's do some work here with the Pocket Kings. No, no value today. Chiu says, hey, Vanessa, Dean Egg says to look for games with high rake. Any suggestions? I know just the site, my friend. Poker Stars. Welcome, man. Ace Queen here in the big blind. I'm going to be raising it up. If you guys are in New Jersey, Delaware, or Nevada, feel free to hop into these tables. I have a feeling they're going to be lively. I think these stakes are probably somewhat affordable too. Gonna raise it up with the ace queen, bump it up. And we're gonna we're gonna bet the flop. Uh, you could definitely go for a check here. Don't mind that either way. Again, check back the jack eight. Dougie, are you broke? No, we are not broke yet. You're always however much money you have away from being broke, though. Think, think about it. We're going to call with the ace queen. This hand is getting really weird, honestly. Limp call check raise. I just don't know if I'm buying it, my friends. I just don't know if I'm buying what he's selling. What is this nonsense? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I'm all in, guys. I think this has to be a jam. It doesn't get worse than this. We got a heart. It's got to be. Well, we're running our first bluff of the day. 
Nice and early. Always good to get them started early here on the stream. Damn it, man. Damn it! We were good until the river, too. Had the read. The read and the move. We'll get in here for a quick flop. <clears throat> Damn it. And now we're going to fold to a 3-bet, fold to 3-bet over here. A lot of 3-betting going on. Quick buy and a half out of the gate. Downswing. Polk is a micro-stakes master. Great. What I always wanted to be when I grew up. A micro stakes master. Is this real money? This is real money. Fifty real American potatoes on all tables. <laughs> Narf two one three. Shut up and play. Good to have you here too, man. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Down to business, Doug. What's with all the talking and the yabbering? I didn't come here to see your ugly mug. Although, unfortunately, my my mug will be here on the screen. Is if that's okay? If it's not okay, I'm sorry, man. You're in the wrong place. Letting the go, getting rid of some garbage. Quick garbage. The poker fish. I love video games, but don't play because I get addicted and waste time. Well, that makes two of us. That makes two of us, man. Is someone else? Oh, is Talk streaming today? Oh, I'm not trying to battle, man. I'm just trying to help promote what we're doing over at Upswing. We got a sale going, ends tomorrow. I want to get the word out. 25% off everything at Upswing. All courses, all merch. Get your Upswing t-shirts, including this one. That's like basically half my wardrobe. We are folding the 83 suited. <laughs> Try NL 100 today? Bro, we're going in the wrong direction, man. We've already lost. Already lost a buy in. We're going to need to win some money to get to NL 100. We're going to need to win a lot, a lot of buy ins. Doug, are you doing this every Friday? No. Not every Friday, actually. Going to be doing this rarely. K9 and the small one gonna limp in. What size is this? WSOP.com. You might notice from the middle of the table where it says WSOP.com. Uh, Guai, hey, I love Poker Hands videos. Glad to see you live. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you enjoy the Poker Hands vids. Chad Smith, you're probably the coolest and most genuine guy I've seen on Poker World with your cheesy jokes and irony, which lots of people can't understand. Thanks, man. I aim for a good, healthy portion of both cheesy jokes and irony. Definitely nothing that qualifies as a good joke. That would be over the line. I don't want to do that to you guys. That's why. I, it's yeah. It's 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 more of it's kind of my thing. All right, Queen Jack offsuit against the limp. I'm putting it in the muck, bros. What up? Your boy is making a disciplined lay down here in the micros. Chris Sarton, Doug, I'm a new fan. Watch the final day of the one drop and poker go. That cue in the river was sick. That was a pretty sick river. That really was. It was a good river. It was pretty sick indeed, though. All right, sides. Hey, Doug. Nice to catch you on the stream today. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Nice to catch you as well. Fortnite or PUBG? I choose neither. No, I, I guess I don't really like that format very much. I don't like the whole like 100 people and you get weapons and I don't know. Maybe if I put it on PC it would be better. It would probably be better, wouldn't it? On PC? Yeah, because I put it on Xbox and that was just absolutely the nut low. That's probably what my mistake was. 
RC, hey, Doug, thanks for putting in some sessions. We appreciate it. Oh, no problem, man. I'm always happy to stop by. Uh, I guess I will take a flop here for this very large 3-bet size and fold to the flop bet against what is likely aces. Could just fold pretty, I guess. Pocket 4 is in the cutoff. And check it back. Doug, hey Doug, what's the bank called to be to get to move to NL100? Probably, probably 2000. So it could be six or seven years. It's an approximate estimate. The bankroll says we're down 70, but I feel like we're down more than that. We've not won a pot, it feels like. Z Dreddy says, Doug, I like your content as long as you don't pretend to be a feminist on Twitter. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I am not a feminist because I am a man. I'm a man. I'm a man, man. Man's man. I do manly man things. I drink beer. I eat steak. I watch sports ball all the time because I'm a manly man. That's what manly men do. I build shit. Nah, yeah, tear it down just because I'm a man. I don't know. What else do men do? I guess. I drive a really fast car. <laughs> Pretty manly. Got a big truck, too. That's how you know I got a big dick. Got a big truck. No, I've never done that accent or voice before. That one might have to go away permanently. King, queen, ace high board. Meh. And we get a real meh bet size, too. This is just, Oh, thank, thank the Lord. Nothing says uh, strength like having call any bet on. That, that that's a nice one there from Jimmy. Call call any bets always a always a really strong play. I, I you know usually when I play poker I use the call any bet button or whatever it was that he was using there because uh, he he was snapping that pot. You got to have auto call on. You just have to. How can there be real money if there are no real money? Bro, you're getting super meta right now. This is this is that's way too meta of a question. It's just way too meta of a question for us at the moment. It's too meta. It's just too meta. Ace King here. We're squeezing it, putting the squizzle on. Oh god, we got a call. Please help flop an ace or a king. Lord. Well, we're going to try and take it down with a flop bluff. It's actually a really nice flop, flop bluff hand. You block ace, queen, and king, queen, which are the two most important ones to block. But calls in two places. We're going to check the turn. We're going to check the turn here. A skadoodle. Not ideal. Not ideal at all. Shout out to Zip Felquist. Greetings from Vienna. This looks as strange as the live tables here. I don't know what you mean by that, but it, those were English words. Shout out to Big Kev 619 SD. Good luck in the super high roll roll and WSOP. But if you play hand versus me at WSOP, then no good luck that hand. I'll be out there on the ninth. Nice, man. What's your screen name out here in the streets? Big Kev. Anyone see a Big Kev? I don't think I see a Big Kev in the streets. But good luck, man. And also, good luck unless you're versus me. In which case, dude, I really need these micro six buy-ins. Please let me win one. Please, guys. Please. I'm trying my best. People have asked me this a lot. What's your opinion on global poker? I have never checked it out, but anything that pays you out via, like, whatever they're using seems shady to me. But whatevs. Maybe it's fine. I really don't know. I'm not qualified to answer that question. Pocket sevens, we're calling a three bet. Hoping for a seven. That's not a seven anywhere on that board. Can you get aces already? Look, I I I honestly wish that I was getting aces. We're gonna go ahead and lead here on the river. And snap fold. And eh, we'll float one with sevens. It's kind of a shitty float, but whatevs. I get down with the floats. Let it go now. Pocket nines, we're going to isolate a limp. I'm telling you guys, these games look pretty, pretty, pretty juicy. Restart tonight. No. 
<laughs> my computer's like, would you rather restart now or later? It's like, how about not restarting? Is that an option on the table or, or no? Okay. What about the flop with the A6 ball? Uh, I think check turn. Ugh. Half pot. Fold. Damn it. Wow. Don't think that hand was going anywhere. You know any winning 6 x players that play hands at a higher rate with more equity pre-flop and less post-flop playability? Rather play H A6 over H7 student? I mean, that's such a simplistic question that, like, I mean, obviously you have to have a mixed strategy of both ec raw equity and playability. I think that's, like, the clear, clear breakdown. But uh, to that extent, no. What's the current bankroll? We just dumped off 10% of it, so we're down to 11.10. Oh, we got the aces, though, fam. We got the aces. Throwing it in there. Jim says he used to coach a friend of mine years ago. What friend? I, I probably know him, I would say. I think that's likely. If I coached him, I should know him. Although I do get people all the time like, oh man, uh, you know my buddy. His name is uh, is, is Frankton, uh, Franktonburger. You guys will go way back. And I'm like, I've never heard of Franktonburger before. That's a pretty sweet name though. But I've never heard of him. Like, no, 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 you know him. It's like, oh, okay. How about that? Queen, seven of diamonds. Also, we got a lot of people who pretend to be me online right now. It's not a good place to be, but it's a place. It's the place we are. Top pair, we will go for the check call ski. Yeah, it's turning into a popular thing to do to uh, pretend to be me and try and scam people. So be careful, guys. If you're talking to me, you always think it's not me. In fact, right now, you're watching me. This might not be me. This could be a scammer. So just be careful out there. You really just don't know. Make sure it's me. Like, verify. Like, with face. But, like, yeah, I guess I am me. That doesn't make sense. But be careful. For, for real though, like oh man, I sent I sent you ten thousand dollars to do a YouTube video, and now you're not doing the YouTube video. I'm like, well, did you confirm it was me? Oh well, it said it said Doug Polk definitely on Telegram, so I assumed it was you. And then you said this is definitely me, so it had to be you. Why do people get scammed so easily? Someone show me the chat logs. Guys, like, hey, uh, pretending to be me, um. So yeah, it would be best if you send me really quickly so I can get started in this video, like, now. And the guy's like, why quickly? Oh, it would just be, it would just be, you know, I really want to make this video for you for the $10,000, so let's just send it to you really quickly. Yeah, it seems legit. Let me get my wallet out. Pocket Jack's good through streets. Please don't jam. Don't jam. All right. A6 with a spade. Hey, Doug, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like Fortnite? i will give it a 6. If it was on the PC, I could see it being an 8. On the Xbox, I'd get like a 2. Xbox is the worst ever. I am 27X, Doug. I make enough money to take a few WSP shots, but I'm definitely better at cash games. How should I mix up with my week in Vegas? Just play the really high value events, man. Play the really high value ones. Anything else, just skip. Play some cash. Cash is nice. You're, you're a lot more flexible. So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say like you have to play a bunch of tournaments if you're in Vegas for the summer. If you like tournaments, definitely. Um, and, and I wouldn't skip any of like the, you know, if you can play the WSP main, definitely go for that one. A lot of those shit show five hundred dollar like mega bucks makers are like really good um, in terms of value, so you might want to throw some of those in. But yeah, don't force don't force yourself to play tournaments just because like you're in Vegas and you want to do it. Um, you know, pick your spots well. Kevin Lotta, hey Doug Booker, just bought a membership to the lab. Appreciate you, brother. You brought me back from that. Awesome, Kevin. Welcome to the lab, man. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Lab has been a lot of work in process. I'm gonna check a deuce on the flop actually. 
All right, and we're going to start to heat up now. We're going to heat up, guys, on the turn. Who else we got in the chat? Play Omaha, play cricket. This is a weird hand, actually. He can't really have a flush. I guess I have 10x of clubs. I guess I'll check the river. This is a weird hand, though. This is a really weird hand. I feel like I might be beat. Yeah. Wow. Missed a bet, bro. Um, I guess here we're going to check raise all in, whatevs. GL. Get there! Yeah! River in a flush! <laughs> we needed that, guys. You channeled it up. Woo! Woo! Channeled it up. And we got our little pocket kangs here under the gun. What's good? What's good, homies? Doug, you are not a big baller. Okay, how about that? Yeah, because that's really what I wanted. I'm, I'm trying to be a baller, man. Also, here's a little hint. Anyone trying to be a big baller probably doesn't fire up YouTube and play 25 cent, 50 cent. So if you think that's what I'm trying to do, you got the wrong guy. I'm just your casual micro sticks player. I don't know what that was. Okay. King Jack suited. Got to bump it up. Doug is so dumb. He's lucky he found poker. Cheers, mate. Welcome to the stream today. Let's see what we got. We're going to be betting the ace tray. Check, please. Okay. This guy limpy raise. I'm just going to go with it. Damn it. Ten. Oh. Eight. Eight. No dice. Well, Edge of Glory back down $100 today. Stuck big. We're stuck real big, guys. Queen Deuce of Diamonds. Limp call. I'll bet the turn. Oh, shit. The real true teller in the chat. The real true teller is in the chat, guys. Um, I feel like I'm definitely good here. Going for some value. I'm telling you, I'm good here. I'm telling you, Rose, I'm good here. You don't believe me? Watch. You watch. Pocket tens. Opening it up in the hijack. Jack 92 checking it back, turning some trip skis. We'll be doing a little work with that later, but let's keep it on the tens for now. He leads. Uh, I raise. King 10 pop stop there. We got some hands going. We got we got a few hands brewing. Ooh. Big call. All right, Jeff. God damn it. This is so brutal. I guess I fold. Oh, God. Really? Really? I mean, I'd rather have a nine with a with a club. We're getting wrecked out here, guys. We're getting the business. Just folded trips there. But the thing is, I can have a bunch of other better trips. Trips to the club. Occasionally, I can have a flush. Yeah. Ace on a hearts. We're bumping it up in the cutoff. Why don't you use a HUD? You cannot use one on the site, which is why. Upswing is 25% off, not 15%. Uh, that will end tonight at midnight. Oh! Oh, how about a little flush for the... I must call myself the kid. I don't know. 
feels weird. I think I've done that in the past. We're about to be 30 this year. I guess I check back. You better not have a boat. You better not. He's folding. You watch. This guy is folding. This is, this is going in the muck. He's going to put these guys in the muck. Two of. What can I do? What can I do? Like, realistically, what can I do there? I can only check back so many times. I'm not checking the turn. You got to be crazy. You got to be straight crazy. Hey, Doug, are you still running the special for upswing? And if so, does it include cash games? Everything on the site is 25% off. Merchandise and all courses. If you guys have any questions about which courses you'd like to know more about, let me know. I'm happy to answer your questions. I want you guys to get a good deal. Tens here. Bend the flop. Want to be the best? Okay, we're we're done. We're toast. Want to be the best poker player at the table? Tell you guys all you want to know. We got some free stuff too. If you don't want to spend any money, we do have some good resources for you to get better without spending a dime. Um, if you're totally new to the game, post off game time, pretty good place to start. For small stakes players, uh, for PLO or no limit, I recommend the labs. And then we have a bunch of advanced courses as well. I taught the heads up course, Pertus did the master class for tournaments, Jacob Dahl did the mixed game course, and Andres Artanano did the elite cash game mastery. More of an online focus, but definitely also relevant for live poker. Hold that one go. Good stuff. Eight seven of spades. We're gonna make it five fifty. Five fifty to go. My name Jeff. This is the guy that four bets earlier when we had tens. If he starts going crazy, I'm gonna feel bad about that tens fold. Is what it is though. Oliver Koenig says poker is so dumb. Lucky it found Doug. I never thought of it like that. Interesting. How much lag is there on stream? There's enough to keep me safe, guys. Don't worry about it. Keeping it, keeping it safe. Marik Ketchavala says, Doug, butcher my name, please. You got it. Already did. Niles K. Doug, let me come tutor with you. I'm good, bro. Doug, you're a big baller. Thanks, man. James Clendon. Hey, Doug, listen to your content every day, going to work and coming home. I appreciate everything you do, and you're very funny. Thanks, James. I really appreciate that. Got some, got some friendly people in the chat today. Do appreciate that. Any game direct, hey Doug, big fan of your crypto channel. Been a long time holder for Lux now. And just notice if you want to go, you are as well. Keep it up with a nice pitch. Thanks, man. I have been holding Lux, although sadly, and when they had uh, McAfee shill it, I felt pretty whatever about it, to be honest with you. How active are you in the upswing closed Facebook group, Doug? Uh, honestly, the last week or so, I've not been very active, but for the few weeks before that, I was posting pretty much every day. Um, I don't know. What do I average? A post a day, a post or two a day, probably more closer to a post a day, something like that. I'm in the mix. I stopped by. King Jack, we're going to bet the flop of the club. That's it, guys. That's all she wrote. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, my hands are tied. My hands are tied. Jonas Longit. Love you, Doug. What chart is that behind you, by the way? That, oh, that, uh, that is my good friend Luke Schwartz's, uh, lifetime, uh, lifetime achievement award. I guess we're gonna call these 10. It's a weird hand. I fold. Give Doug the power tonight. We're gonna need the power to turn this around. We're already getting owned. We're already getting totally owned here, guys. Not as suited though. Uh, 
And what amount will you move down in stakes? Probably a few more buy-ins. I don't know if I'd have the heart to do that in this session, though. We might have to do that next time. If you had infinite money, what would you do with your spare time? Go full Blazarian mode? That's a really good question. I don't know. I really don't know, actually. Uh, we're going to check all five deuce. And call down. Oh! 10 high. Not going to get it done today. Going to fire the turn here with the 7-3. We need a club. 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 Damn it. Damn it. We're not going to bluff with this hand. This is not the bluffing hand. Well, luckily he leads. Why? I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and assume he's got us beat. I'm here for the flop nizzles, nice. Ace Jack suited. Re rallies. How much is a shirt with twenty five percent off? I actually don't know the price of my our shirts. Probably with the discount, probably eighteen, seventeen ish. Could be lying, hope I'm not lying. I'm gonna check all the flop. We're gonna fold against that size. Bit a bit too rich for my blood. Doug looks like he's streaming from a seedy apartment in Detroit. Nope. Streaming from a fairly nice home in Nevada. Close though. Pocket eights. Opening the button. Hey Doug, what's the poker lab entail? Good question. Um, it's got probably 100, 150 hours of content. Uh, primarily for myself and Ryan Fee, but Parker Ta uh, Talbot, I always mispronounce his last name, uh, T Parker Talbot, uh, Mike Finstein, and uh, Fried Mulders are also in there with uh, tournaments live and uh, online respectively, online cash respectively. Uh, it's got, it consists of many different modules where you can, uh, I'll actually show, I'll show you, I'll show you what it looks like. Small bet, you got, you got a customer for that, that smaller price. I'm gonna check turn. I might actually bluff the river. Eh, no. We got enough horse hands. We definitely got enough horse hands in here, IMO. What is this hand? Bet check bet? That's such a weird hand. He's almost saying he's got like ace jack or better with that line. That's a weird line. Gonna bump it up here with the 5 4 suited. So the upswing lab looks like. You log in. Oh shit, why did it do that? Oh, I see. I put it at the top. Uh, we fold. We log in. You start off with the lab core strategy. Got a bunch of different charts for live, online, or tournaments. Then once you go in, you click. There's all these different modules. And you click on one. There's a video in there. Some of them have some text as well. Originally we did a little bit more text and then we found people just like the videos a bit more. And then if you press play. It's me like teaching you some stuff. Yeah. Bunch of ranges, <coughs> a lot of modules. And then we also put up a play and explain every week where uh, it's someone, one of the lab coaches uh, playing poker and talking as they play or uh, talking over a recorded session about um, how they played and how to think about poker and all that stuff. That's the lab, man. Gonna bet the ace can the flop. Check turn. This is a really weird river. I would have some boats. 
Can I really get him to call worse than an ace, though? Don't think so. So, like, this hand is, like, he's either going to raise or fold. And that's just really shitty for me. Because if he represents the boat, I have to fold. And if he folds, I don't get any value. So, been a little treading a little lightly there. Ace four called an open. We'll check all the flop. We got a little top pair. I think it went limp, and I bet. God, why did I not remember this action pre? Limp and then raise. I think it went limp raise. I think. I hope. This hand's getting kind of weird. Nice. Clear over that spot. What up? Oh, I'm going to put him in. Didn't realize how short he was. Bro, you got no money left. <sighs> you got no dollar dollar bills left, bro. 10 no good. Sorry, it was pretty unfortunate you ran into a ten, uh, into a two pair there with a ten. Unlucky river. We got that third pair and a gutter. Hmm. I kind of like this hand's calling properties. You don't block any of the king queen king ten queen ten business. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What up, you boy? Hey. Hey. I know you guys can't hear the music, but but it it was in rhythm. You could, you could kind of imagine that, just like imagine like in rhythm, or not in rhythm because it is me. So that that could really go either way. I'm gonna go for the check rizzle down here with the two pair. Going for the check rizzle. What up? No. Come back. Come back. I don't want. I don't want. No, please. Pocket three is calling a three bet, and uh, that's basically bad. It's very bad. And a seven three bet, and that's also bad. We're getting some some. Bet call check check bet raise. Wow, that's just not just not fun times. I'm gonna fold. I'm gonna ang actually I'm gonna angrily fold. Urgh. Angry. It's it's a little different when you fold angrily because because you know it makes you feel a little bit better about your life. Jack Ten we went for the check Kalski. This guy played like a nit. Played like a nit and then um, we're gonna call again on the turn. And um, my lord, we're gonna hope to bang off a straight. Oh, set's good. Set is definitely good. Seven would have been pretty nice. Or queen. Three about pot though. What are you gonna do? Only so much you can do, my friends. Doug, can you change your table avatar to a picture of a rake? Could I? Yeah. Okay. Are you? Where, where, where are you able to do that? I don't see where you can do that. Could be nice. Sandy, we don't have music on, and I, I swear to God, like, if I never stream again, the happiest thing I'll be about is, is not having to talk about the music because it just it, it's just mind-blowing having to talk say anything over and over again. When you play music, if it's copyrighted, YouTube mutes your video. And if they mute their video, your video, then people can't watch it in the future. If you play copyright-free music, you're good until those songs become copyrighted and then your video gets muted. And I don't want to have shitty muted videos that become irrelevant and worthless because I had to play a song so that you wouldn't complain. Yeah, that's right, you specifically, person's name I forgot. I'll never forget you. King Queen, bet the flop. Goods and services. I'm debating between bet and check here. Kind of like a check. Now we got a very, 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 very disguised straight. Do 
Doug, have you ever played with Melanie Weisner? No, I have not. Doug, did Tom Dwan ever respond to your challenge? No, he did not. Loanus Le Leonatidius, will you advise someone into poker and why? I don't know what to tell you. Taylor's theory. Sup, Doug? What up, bro? I watched you get wrecked at the RE against Adams last night. You mean from last fall in October? Glad to see people are enjoying my poor fortune. Is bluffing optimal or exploitative? Wow, the questions are really on point today. Uh, what? Limp jam, I call? Hold, please? Can I get a hold, please? Can I get a hold, please? Dancing's a lot more weird when you guys can't hear the music now that I'm thinking about it. But whatever, you know what? Sometimes you just got a vibe. Okay. Hey, Doug, when did you change screen names? NM Grinder, I know you're trolling me, bro. I know you're trolling me. I call. Jack, I know good. Get out of there. Get it out of there. Pocket nines with a limp ski. If I buy the Tonka tourney on upswing, will I never be lucky? Well, luckily for you, he's Tonka's in the lab. So we have other people in the lab who actually are lucky to kind of balance it out, which is important. If if you were never going to be lucky, then it would be, you know, it would be a tough decision to make. Give him the LRR with the pocket nines. Uh, we're going to go for a really small bet, I think. Hey, dog, how was your stay in rehab? Check. Check. It's kind of a nice call hand. Tent is better though. Calls anyway. Check. Check. Yeah, pockety nines, bro. Pockety nines in the house. Big fan of pockety nines. And the King Jack burger. I'm going to call that a burger right there. And we are going to bet with the King 8 suited. Shout out to Shavvy Cash. What's up, Doug? Shavvy Cash here. By the way, if you guys have not seen some Shavvy Cash YouTube comments, well, they're one of a kind. There are really only one kind of comments like that, and it's from, it's from, uh, it's from Shavvy Cash. Really incorporates a lot of good elements. And we're going to check with the king eight ball. I think you could bet it would be close. I am going to check. Don't have a club, but that's nice. Hey, hey, what up? We're on the comeback trail. We're, blaz we're blazing a trail. We're blazing a trail, guys. We're only down a little over a buy-in now. <laughs> and they said we sucked in micro stakes. What up? Hey, Doug, if you didn't make it in poker, what do you think you would have done next? That's a great question. I always wanted to go to school for law, and I dropped out to play poker. So I'd like to assume I would be some mid-tier lawyer somewhere. I hope mid-tier. Because, God, if you're one of the bottom-of-the-barrel lawyers, that's about as low as it goes. That said, on the other hand, I do play 25 cent 50 cent now. So, well... It kind of is what it is. We're going to let sixes go. Should go back to the faux hawk haircut. I, I have like a little hybrid now. It's like a little faux hawk, a little whatevs, this and that. I, I had the faux hawk for so many years. It's good to mix it up every now and then, man. Yes, we, we are practicing. That's right. We're practicing for a live $300,000 tournament by playing some online $50 uh, cash games. That's, that's, just, that's just logic. It's just logic, you know? I'm going to call the King Jack suited facing a three bet. And flop a little top two pair. What up? Hey. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, could we check Rizze? Could we call? The possibilities are not endless.
Give him the check, Rizzle. What up, Rizzle? Don't have a set. Don't have a set. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? He had two outs. Well, that was for even. <sighs> that was for even, guys. We would have been back to exactly even if we'd won that. I mean, you know what? The thing about flips are sometimes, like, you win the flip, sometimes you lose the flip, and, and that's that's life. Doug, do you think prison is a good place to master your poker skill? I just don't know if I can deal with this. I don't know if I can deal with... with, with <laughs> <laughs> oh lord what are you gonna do Scott Belton Doug I actually used to watch you play low six back in the day so cool to see you now with all your stuff keep doing your thing man thanks Scott appreciate that man also Monster TV channel what's up dude what up Doug with a thumbs up another familiar play familiar face in the comment sections section Doug, are you playing any upcoming high rewards this year? I'm playing one in two days, man. $300,000 buy-in. In fact, if you guys want to be able to buy a piece of me, I'm selling 5% of my 300 k buy-in. That's right. Confirm broke. You can tell your friends Doug is too broke to play $300,000 buy-in. In fact, please tell your friends so they might buy a piece. Please, please buy a piece of me because I cannot afford a $300,000 buy-in. Actually, no. I, I do have the action sold, but I want the fans to have a chance to buy a piece if they want to. So here we are. Wait, where is this? Why can't I find it? Oh, little pocket aces. That's good. Maybe we can get stacked again over here. Pretty good flop. Uh, we're going to bet the turn. Um, should I bet the river? I'm going to go, yeah. Yeah, get a little value. Oh, yeah, what up? It's a nice river. It's a very nice river. So then I was watching the stream, and Doug had a heart attack right there. It was one too many bad beats. He just couldn't take it anymore. And that was it. Oh, Lord. All right, let me see if you guys uh, want to buy some of this action. How do I link this? I actually don't know how to link this, so I'll be River to Nate. How do I link this thing? Well, this works, I guess. <clears throat> what what is this okay, so first lesson guys. Don't call a turn with this hand. This is gibbage. This is, some, this is some serious gibbage on the turn call. Like, what are you hoping for? An, a f an offsuit five be up against aces? Like, that's not going to happen.
Never mind the haircut. Bring back the tank top, mus tank top muscle shirts in the summer. I got you. Don't worry. Tank tops are going to be out in full force. Full force. Grinding Success says, shout out to my man, Doug Polk. Go Knights. Yeah, let's go Knights. Go Knights. Go. In the Stanley Cup. Although I can't go to the first game because I'm going to be playing in the High Roller Bowl. But super High Roller Bowl. You can't forget the super. It's much the High Roller Bowl. We don't want people to think this is just some, like, you know, mid-grade tournament. Super High Roller Bowl. Gonna open up the fire three suited. Someone talking about that that first bad beat. Five percent isn't zero percent. Noted. That that's a good thing to know. I'm gonna go for the check call with the ace eight of diamonds. With the of diamonds. Ugh. Oh, and about the turn. If you guys have any questions about any of the upswing courses, happy to answer them here. Let me know what your questions are so that you can take advantage of this sale if you are interested in them. I'm out in the river here. Uh, I was not following the action exactly, but I do hope that I have the best hand, and I did, so that's poker happened. You can't say it didn't happen because poker clearly happened. Poker clearly happened there. Clearly. EM, what's good, Doug? Do you stream on Twitch too? Uh, I haven't lately, but you know what? I'm actually debating streaming some video games for the lulls. Why not? For the, for the pure lulls. I'm going to go for the check whistle again with this guy. This is the second time I've gone for this. Go for the check on the error as well. Please bet. If he bets, I'm jamming. We be jamming, man. He never has a boat, so it's a pretty good spot for a bluff ski. I know I'd like to bluff here. So you got to work in some value. That value, you know, you, you feel me, fam? Get that value. <laughs> oh, man. Call! Can we get a call for the kid? I guess I'm the kid today. Can we please get a call? Nope. Nope. <sighs> Already down three buy-ins. We're toast. It's over. The dream's dead. The dream never dies, Doug. As long as we've got a fight in our soul. The dream never dies. Oh, man. <coughs> Reminds me of uh, Alex Jones a little bit. Although that was a little more... Yeah, whatevs. It's good to be here today, guys. Shout out to everybody. Ace, eight of diamonds. Doug, how much of yourself do you have in the 300k? I like how like no one in the world is like very public with this stuff except for me. But uh, I'm probably going to have around 100K-ish of myself. I'm debating going 120K. I might go a little... I'm not going under 100K. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. I'm not going under a third. So something like that, I think, approximately. Keep in mind, if I, if I do 
punt off my money, a third of that money would be mine. Going to overbid against Dex to Justin Brooks, Doug, you're hilarious. We love you. Thank you, Justin Brooks. I do appreciate that. It's very kind. We've got quite the contrast today. For those of you new to streaming, you always have a very polarized range in the chat. You've got, I'm going to use the word the haters, and that's two words, but you've got haters, and then you've got super cool people. Again, not one word. And that's, that's the range in the chat. You rarely get middle ground, guys. Maybe you get the occasional person who likes to get in there for the, the snide comment and then get out of there and be like, oh, uh, nice stream. <laughs> if you were good at poker, <laughs> but, but I'm enjoying it. But no, on, on average, you get those two. Uh, we'll call them camps, if you will. If you're in camp one, type of one, one is the, is the sarcastic mean guy. If you're the nice guy who's here for the stream, let's get two in the chat. Let's see what the distribution's like. I, I think, I think it'll be pretty even. That's my my uh, it's my guess. The queen of a good sized village says, "Thank you for inspiring us micro players." Five Aussie dollar donation. Thank you very much. Oh shit! No, I timed out. No. Ugh. Thank you very much, though, queen of a good sized village. Not too big. Not small, it's just good size. It's a good size. It's a good spot to be queen, you know? Where's the scotch? Good question. We're actually not drinking today. We're, we're, we're keeping on the sober grind. OTV Red Baron, Jason Mo, thank you for joining us today. The Great Oz. Can you get Phil Hubby the shirt so he doesn't have to wear that small basketball jersey anymore? I think he likes the too small basketball jersey, though. And can you really put a price on that? I just don't think you can. I really don't think you can put a price on that. Polk fan says, hey, Doug, love your content. Any reason you don't stream on Twitch anymore? Also, why are you playing about your stakes not trolling? I just don't follow the community very close. Thanks. Good luck. We're doing a challenge. We're trying to turn uh, $100 into $10,000 over over uh, 56 years. We're way ahead of pace. And uh, I'm not on Twitch because I think Twitch is a shitty platform. That's right. I said it. I said it. I think Twitch is a shitty platform. Because your videos don't last for forever. If I make content, I want it to be evergreen, which means it's always watchable. It's always there. Uh, and, and it's really just not like that on Twitch. It's like, you know, if you're live, Twitch is a great – Twitch is a great platform if you're going to do two things. One, stream a ton. And two, put out a lot of low-grade content. If you're putting out low-grade content, it's a really good place to flourish because volume matters more than quality. And uh, the way the algorithms work – uh, it's, it, it favors the guy who shows up every day over the guy putting out good stuff. I'm not saying that I'm the guy putting out good stuff. I mean, I would hope I am. But um, as far as how the platform functions, it just is better for lots of low-quality, um, massive amounts of grinding. And that's just like the exact opposite of what I want to do. I want to try to put out good content occasionally. And I want to be always watchable. Like on YouTube, you know, I, I put out a lot of great videos, I think. A lot of videos that I really enjoyed. Um, and like you can always go back and watch them, right? They're always there. So, and, and they're always getting views. You can see in the back end. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I just think that, let's please check here. I think we're good. I also think we're good. I think he's going to give up here. I was wrong. Ace for diamonds. <laughs> going to bump it up. <clears throat> Where is the river 50x shove module? It would be nice to throw in there. It would be a nice thing to add in. Who is this guy? My name is Doug. If I had to sum myself up in one sentence, sentence, it would be I'm very good at spelling and pronunciation. That's how I would define myself in one set sentence. Ace Queen, I call. You know why? 
can't be bothered. I'm listening to Chill Hop that has Rick from Rick and Morty in it. This is some trippy stuff going on in my in my ears right now. It's good though. It's good trippy. My name is Jeff. Oh yeah, well my name is Doug. And we're we're bumping up the price of poker to 450, Jeff. This is the guy who got a little crazy earlier. I'll see where you're at now, Jeff. We'll see who's who's winning now, who's laughing now. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Don't call too fast. God, if he jams, I'm gonna be so tilted. Next, I'm gonna check the river. Hey, hey, your boy. We're back. We're back, guys. We're only down a little over two buy-ins. Ace queen suited here. Gonna bump it up. Uh, okay. We can check call or we can bet. I'm gonna actually go for the check call. Look, we got some ones, we got some twos. We got a lot of twos. We got a lot of nice people in the chat today. Look at all these nice twos. I like it. That's what I like to hear. Got good souls, you know? And then we've also got some ones. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb war. We also have some one through the sevens. That's what I like to hear or see. Hear and see. Ooh. Ah, yeah. We got him out kicked down here. Got him out kicked. Uh, and I believe I got the goods and uh, I think the word is services. Goods and services. What up? This is a very ace queeny looking bet, but I'm just gonna hope it's just a queen. It was nada. We're back, guys. We're back. We're back in business. We're back in business. Only down two buy-ins now. Oh, I missed a donation here. Ryan Newby, five dollars. Doug, we love you, bro. You're great. Pull grands I ever show and your rulebook, dude. Thank you. Appreciate that, man. Also, shout out to Agent 007 saying good luck in the 300K and all the tables. Thanks, man. I appreciate that as well. A lot of good, kind people here today. Much appreciated. Going to bet the flop with the King 8 ball. The King 8 burger. Oh, you know what? I, I haven't checked crypto prices in like a couple of days. Are we getting owned again? Oh, yeah. We're getting owned. Nice. Maid safe is on just cruising. Mark's not even too bad. I'll check back King Eight. I'll play. A, I'll play a river with you. I'll I'll check back the river with you. Not too bad of a day, all in all. I've seen worse. Seven two suited. We're gonna limp in. You have a limp ski. Can we just see? Can't we just see a flop together, man? No. Okay, I'll call. Ooh, this feels like a check rise. Fold or a four. Fold or a four. Do I really want to barrel with this one? No. I don't think so. I got seven eight, I got seven nine, I got some spades. Yeah, we're gonna let it go. Sometimes you gotta know when to put in the discipline check fold, guys. The discipline. The quick lay down. The quick lay down. Nothing, there's nothing shameful about a nice fold, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Is it letting it go?
I didn't want that pot anyway, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Doug, how many times have you called a shove out of pure curiosity? I would say never. Henrik Svedsen, donate 22. I'm going to assume that that is Norwegian something. Says the poker lab and the tournament class difference. Sure. So the poker lab is all types of No Limit Hold'em. Live, cash, tournaments. Um, basically, we try to cover a really wide array of No Limit. Uh, and, and it is also more geared for small stakes players. Tournament Masterclass is purely about tournaments. We uh, It's taught by Patricia Padiga, obviously an expert tournament player. Uh, it is specifically for tournaments, both live and online. Uh, it's more in-depth relative specifically to tournament play. And it's also a bit more advanced, if that helps answer your question. I think if you're new to poker or you're a small stakes player, I'd strongly recommend the lab. It's definitely the best value. Uh, I think like if you're trying to get really good at tournaments, maybe you already have some good fu solid fundamentals. What? Uh, I'd recommend uh, I'd recommend the tournament masterclass. Thanks for the question, man. I call the raise here. Uh, okay. I, I just want to point out that this is the session that we're having. Are you, are you, is, this, is this a real thing that just happened? Is it a real thing? We raised the flop, right? Ugh. I mean, this is like our worst hand here. We can even have a seven. Well, the good news is if we jammed turn and got called, we would have gotten stacked. For sure. Okay, but the turn here with King Queen. Jack. Oh, some days you run like this, guys. This is this is just how life goes. You know, some days you're 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 killing it, you know, everything's just on fire, and then some days you just get the you get the nice counterfeit boats, the the two outers coming raining raining down on your parade. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the game of poker. It's good. It's good that it exists because it keeps bad players in. But it's also bad that it exists because it keeps me playing the bankroll challenge. It's kind of a trade off there, you know. A six of diamonds. Open it up. Lieutenant Weinberg, Doug, you were nice uplifting as well as charming. Thanks, man. Doug, would you watch a Netflix original series poker drama and comedy? Uh ugh, I just it's it's just so hard to it's so hard to commit to that. Um maybe, I would say, maybe. I don't really know. We're going to bet the turn here in a very large pot with pocket fives. I'm actually hoping for a fold. Well, we'll take our showdown. Queens are good. Queens are good. And we're going to hero call what they say. i just not buying it, bro. Okay. I'm buying it now. I actually already paid for it, so I'm definitely buying it. That's that's certainly true. Certainly, certainly true. Check and make the ace four clubs here. Tom says, you gotta know when to hold them. 
Know when to fold them. Know when to stop singing. Know when to run. Never count your money when you're sitting. Okay, I'm going to do it to you guys. Talk. if you ever meditate or tried to work at any time mindfulness to keep focused until control, I've never been really into meditating. I've tried it. I don't understand. I close my eyes and feel bored. I, 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 I don't know. It's tough. It's really tough. Snap call? Please have an ace. Dexter is a massive fish. Yeah, no shit. Call. Call. Oh. Yeah. Rick Simpson. Hi, Doug. This is valuable time you're spending playing low stakes. How do you focus when this is money? You probably won't turn around and pick up if you drop in the street. Well, the good thing for me is I'm always competitive. I, I just can't, like, lose on purpose. And, and also, the quicker I finish this, the quicker I don't have to play the bankroll challenge in seven years. So uh, I'm definitely still trying to win. No doubt about that. It hits me right in the feels when, when I take a bad beat right now. Probably more so than the money because it is the time. Right in the feels. George Lapsa says, hi, Doug. What do you think about spin and go games how, uh, and how to get out of medium stakes? I would stay away from them, man. Spinning goes like the opposite of a turn. Well, no, it's exactly like a tournament. You mainly lose and then you occasionally win, but you're even less likely to win. It's like it's like a slot machine. It's like a debatably plus CV slot machine depending on how good you are, but it takes the skill out and adds in a shitload of variance. Just don't do it, man. Play some Play something where skill matters way more. Big Polk, you have any bracelets? Yes, I've won three WSOPs. We're getting owned today. Getting owned. These butt says this guy sucks. Cheers, man. Thanks for stopping by today. King Jack and the button. We're gonna open it up. Well, Terry, what's up, dude? Good to see you here. Ace Queen, the cutoff. We're going to open it up. And fold to three bet. Ace four. Actually, maybe we're going to pump it up. Nah, we'll just take a flop. That's pretty cheap. Please, nine or ace. I guess ace. Please, ace. You win, Dexter. You win this one. King Jack in the small blind. I'm gonna fold to an open. I actually feel like streaming some Warcraft 3. I've been playing a bunch of Warcraft 3 lately. 
All right, we're going to call this short. I might be online over on Twitch, guys. I might be online for some video game streaming. Or I might not. I might just play on my own. Who knows? Who knows? But I know one thing for sure. We lost four binds today. 1,200 down to 1,000. Ugh. Brutality. Brutality. So what? Verified streamer and a mod here. How are you verified? King Queen opening up the button. Oh, I was looking at the wrong YouTube channel. That makes sense. Nine seven the spades opening it up. We'll take a flop just because the session's ending. Normally we should be folding this hand. Please spade. Spade me. Ugh. Some garbage. Well, we actually only lost three buy-ins today. We we're at 1210 to start and we're at 1060. Minus three buy-ins. Could have went at queen 10. Letting it go facing an open. It is weird. I always forget that you guys can't hear the music that I can hear. All right, guys, it's going to be it today. Short stream. Wanted to hop in and let everybody know about the sale over at Upswing Poker. Today's the last day. 25% off everything on the site. T-shirts included, all the courses. If you guys have any questions about different courses, you can hit me up on Twitter, Doug Bulk Poker. I tweeted a little earlier today. Um, if you have any questions about what might be up your alley, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in today. Do appreciate it. If you're new to the stream, hit the subscribe button. I'm sure we'll have some more poker content coming up for you in the near future. Probably a Poker Hands episode. See you guys soon. I might be over on Twitch. Maybe. We'll see what happens.